giving my own screw press instead of a hydraulic. Oh, that is beautiful. Well, this 1902 yellow pine is a bit too nice to use for this project. But today, I'm going to be building a wooden framed screw press. I have this old Simplex 12 ton screw press I got at the scrapyard. Now I imagine, oh not screw press, screw jack. I imagine it's probably not good enough to actually exert 12 tons. It's just if you're having to hold up a trailer or something, it can hold 12 tons, but I don't think it'll it might maybe two or three times, but it'll be nothing but a hold the weight. I have a lot of these two by sixes that were rotten. I might be gonna use some of those as reinforcement. That's actually not too rotten. That's just weathered. Yeah, that stuff's just too beautiful to waste on this. That's gorgeous. I should plane that. Especially whenever I find so much of this stuff in dumpsters. Effectively, we're just making a square to hold the force of the screw press, of the screw jack. Forgive me. Now, thankfully, I cannot be accused of not having enough lumber. It's just a lot of this stuff's really nice. Or it's like flooring or something that's not quite as strong. If only I had more 2x6s. It's funny, I never really realized until I started collecting dumpster wood that 2x6s aren't really used as much as I'd thought. Well, there's a 2x12. Aww. It's really short. Oh well. That may have to do. Right. Now for these, huh. these three are pretty much the same size, which is good. Just that's not. Now each junction has three screws through it. I think we should have six. So I'll put 
24 more screws in. Oh, this is getting scary pretty quick. That's a lot of force. I think that this is probably going to eat into here, so let's let this loose. Yeah, it was digging into that, so that's good. Not exactly straight anymore. God, it's working. I was really beating on that thing too. I'm looking for some hinges, something stronger than this. And then I realized up there, I have a, a door taken apart and I forgot to take off the hinges.
my favorite circular saw is at Bill's house because we're restoring it. But I found this in the trash a few years ago. Should we try it? <laughs> it's not scary at all. Well, seems to work well enough. Not bad for trash. It's like these little burrs. The metal's actually been carved up. Oh, a little bit of nail sticking through on this one, I see. Ah, fucking hell. Like microscopic, they're just barely hitting through. So that's good. It's just a mixture of the bottom being really rough and uh, also those little, just the little tips of the screws poking through. Now it needs some legs, so whenever I have it closed around something, that way if something really big with a long shaft or something gets put in there, I can close it around there. Oh, and I also need a lock. I need that. But I need to have legs so it doesn't fall over. And this way, if I really wanted, I could remove that, and I could put something really big in here if it was really big, and it could be opened, it could be used open. But I would just have to have much a much stronger board, probably two 2x12s two across there then.
good enough for me. I call that a latch. Because there shouldn't be any, any force against these anyway. I mean, after all, before I used this without this being even connected together. They were just two squares sitting next to each other. care if it's off off angle not too bad Oh wait, you know, I can do it better like this, or actually, I don't need to even cut it, I could just do this with an X. Perfect, great. See, it's V-shaped, so it can stick in there upside down. Come on. Piece of shit box. Might as well just hold them in my hand. One thing I've been wanting to do is to straighten these bolts so I can turn them on my lathe. Because they're perfect metal, they just need to be straightened. Yeah, that's not going to work. I might need to just blacksmith these back to straight. Maybe this thing will be better for uh, other stuff. too much. Yeah.
Oh, it's almost there. Well, I'm happy with that. That's pretty cool. I like it. Well, I'd like to hear what you guys think about this. I plan to do some upgrades. I'm going to be restoring this jack and I'm going to be uh, cleaning off the rust, cleaning out the screws, re-greasing that, and then making a shim, metal shim that goes between here so that doesn't turn as much. Or I might just make an entirely new a little pad for it. I could have different ones. As for the press itself, it needs a name. What kind of interesting creative name can you guys think of? I have a few ideas, but I'd like to compare it with one of yours. It's barely too big. But that is an instance where the opening feature will allow it to fit inside there. I'll remove that and have one going all the way across and I'll remove that because this will be a specialty part. And then I'll be able to have this inside there. I'm not going to do it right now though. It needs a bit of finagling, but that's where the future upgrades can be. Let me know what you guys think I should do with this. Let me know what I think, what you think I should, should name it. And thank you very much for watching. See ya. Oh, and another upgrade I'm thinking is to put some hooks on the top and then whenever I get my like hoist going, I can always just hoist it up for storage up there because I have 12 feet of storage space so I can have things above me without any issue. Now begins the months of me not really having much use for this thing and it taking up a bunch of space. There's a reason why I said I didn't want to get a hydraulic press, but I guess I got myself one anyway. I could switch it out for a hydraulic jack if I ever wanted, but I like that screw one.